You know, they say in public speaking that what you're supposed to do is to tell the audience what you're going to tell them. Then you tell them, and then after that you tell them what you just told them. So I'm going to try that. And I'm going to tell you about women. And what I know about women is not much. <laughs> what I know about women is that I still don't understand them. I've been married for 30 years. I've been married for 30 years, and I have two daughters, and I still don't understand women. I mean, it used to be, it used to be that women wanted men to be these strong, dominant types, but now women want men to be sensitive. And what does that mean? Well, it used to be it was okay to watch football. Well, now it's, it's still okay to watch football, but now you gotta cry if somebody gets hurt. <laughs> I mean, my wife wants me to get in touch with my feminine side. To be honest, I would love to get in touch with my feminine side. If I could do that, my IQ would probably go up 50 points, I'd have much more energy, and I could pay 40% more for my jeans. <laughs> it's not easy living with, with three women. I mean, I go into the bathroom, and honest to goodness, it's, it's like walking into a shopper's drug mart warehouse. I mean, there are potions and lotions, elixirs and creams and all manner of things. And they smell like apples and peaches and misty morning and summer breeze. I don't get it. So I asked my kids, I said, like, why? Why do you have all these weird scents? What, what's with all these weird scents? And they said, well, Dad, we want to be attractive. And I think to myself, if you want to attract a guy, why don't you find a shampoo that smells like steak? <laughs> the other thing that baffles me is the use of razors. And I don't quite understand this, because I make sure everyone in the house has a razor, but the only razor in the house that gets used is mine. <laughs> when I go to use my razor in the morning, I'm not picking up a razor, I'm picking up a fur ball on a stick. <laughs> I don't want to get into the whole thing about hormones and women's cycles and all that, but I do know there is one thing you might be familiar with, is that periodically when you've got a lot of women in the house, their cycles synchronize. And there is nothing more frightening than that. You may as well lock yourself in a closet for three days. I mean, what is a guy supposed to say when you go downstairs in the morning? When you go downstairs in the morning and all three of them are crying because the toast is burnt. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I still don't understand women. Another thing they tell you when you're doing presentations is that if you get hopelessly lost and you feel like you're gonna pass out, you should maybe move over to the lectern and maybe refresh your memories to what you were talking about. I'm not saying that a Pete, I'm not saying that's my situation, but no. I gotta be honest with you. That's just I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if it happens to you. But I gotta tell you, one of the toughest things, one of the toughest things is to figure out when you look at things from a woman's perspective, and let's take a moment and do that. If you look at things from a woman's perspective, what's the, there's an overriding question that women have about men, it's, it's complicated and, and I don't know quite how to phrase it, but I guess if you tried to boil it to its essence, the big question women have about men is how stupid are men? <laughs> That's not an easy question to answer. It's got so many variables. But if I, if I try and pull all the variables together, I guess the short answer would be that men are pretty stupid. Let's take a look at why that might be. Let's take a look at something, some basic function like household chores. A lot of guys are going to say, what? But no, household chores. One of the things you probably notice about men is that men don't need things like mops and brooms and vacuum cleaners and whatever other stuff they've got. And the reason they don't is because they have a big toe. <laughs> I'll explain how that works. Say you're tidying the house with your partner and you turn to your guy, you've been working very hard, and you turn to him and say, uh, honey, what's that on the floor over there? Is that a is that a scrap of paper or is that some food? 
Well, here's what the guy's reaction is going to be. He's going to look at it. He's going to use his toe. <laughs> and then, Sherlock Holmes is going to look at you say, yeah, honey, I've investigated. It's a, it's a scrap of paper. <laughs> then he's going to ask you, probably one of the dumbest questions, but do you want me to tidy it up? <laughs> now at that point, guys, you're going to get the look. <laughs> guys, you know this look. You're doing something wrong. I'm not going to tell you what. You got to guess. Well, guys rarely are able to guess. Do you want me to tidy it up? Well, the woman at this point is about ready to scream. But she'll look at her partner, kind of exasperated, and said, Yes, honey, could you please complete phase two of the cleaning process and clean it up? Once again, but here's where the big toe comes in, because this is what's going to happen to that scrap of paper. <laughs> All done. And the thing you have to remember is that doesn't apply just to scraps of paper on the floor. Honey, for God's sake, will you remember to pick up your dirty socks? No problem, sweetie. Honey, I think you spilled some wine. You want to clean it up? Yeah, no problem, I'm on it. But I think what, I think what puzzles, puzzles women the most about men's intellect is their coordination. And it's a difficult subject to talk about, but women have noticed that men can practice for hours so that they can sink a tiny little golf ball into the three-inch hole from 40 yards out. Men will go to the basketball court and spend hours and hours practicing so they can sink a basketball from 40 yards out. So why is it that men don't have the ability to hit a toilet bowl from point-blank range. <laughs> Women wonder, what is it that's going on in the bathroom that's so exciting so that the men, oh, whoa, oh, yeah, 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 wow. What is it? Why can't men do that? The answer to that is pretty simple. The reason men can't do that is because men have a big toe, so they don't need to. So that when the inevitable comment comes in, for God's sake, don't make a mess in the bathroom. Nope. <laughs> <laughs>